Welcome back everybody. Thank you for watching today's video. Uh, you're probably not going to learn a whole lot in this video today just to get that out of the way, but it should be a lot of fun and I thought why not bring you guys along. So today's video idea actually came from a text message that I got from a friend of mine a couple months ago and it was a trailer from the second Sicario movie. So I clicked on it and it was a clip of uh, Benicio Del Toro doing a weird rapid fire thing with his handgun. If you haven't seen it, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Adios. So my first reaction when I saw that was that was dumb and you'd be much better off just shooting the gun normal. There's no way you could hit anything um, shooting a gun that way. And that's something that bugs me a lot about movies is whenever they mess up gun scenes or do stuff wrong with guns and I can't help but notice it and I uh, drive my girlfriend crazy with that type of stuff. But after I watched it, I started wondering how realistic that really is and thought maybe it's not impossible. Uh, plus it looks super cool and was obviously really fast. So I decided I'm gonna try it and see um, how effective and how accurate something like that could be versus just shooting the gun normal. And is it realistic or is it just Hollywood BS? All right, so the gun I'm gonna use for this is my Sig Sauer P320 nine millimeter. It looked like he was using a Beretta M9, which would actually have a lighter weight trigger pull. It's a double single action. So the first trigger pull would be heavy and then all the other trigger pulls after that would be really light and really short. So it'd probably be easier to do with a Beretta M9, but I don't own a Beretta M9. And the Sig Sauer uh, P320 is the lightest weight trigger on any handgun that I own. And if you noticed, it looked like he was kind of uh, shooting point blank range downward at someone who was laying on the street. So the target that I have is kind of leaned up against that burn pile there. And I'm gonna shoot uh, really close. And what I'm gonna do first is just take five shots at a pretty normal speed, shooting the gun normal, and see what my group looks like, and then we'll go on from there. All right, so that's my five shot group. Uh, just shooting the gun normal. You can see those are all pretty close together. Uh, right near that red circle. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed it up a little bit. All right, now I'm gonna shoot five more shots just as fast as I can. I'm not looking for my sight on follow-up shots or nothing like that, just as fast as I can and see what this group looks like. And there is the five shot group as fast as I can shoot. Definitely not a tight group, but um, at point blank range, that would definitely hit something. And you can see that they're all pretty much within that circle. All right, now I'm gonna try Sicario style. And if you didn't see what he did in that trailer, uh, basically he just put his offhand finger in the trigger guard like this and used that to fire the gun instead of just using your regular trigger finger. So I'm gonna start out slow. This is my first time trying this, so this should be interesting. And that is the five shot group that I just did actually tighter than the first five shot group where I was shooting the gun normal. Now I think one of those rounds did go up into uh, that target up there. But if you look at the four down here, actually a tighter group than when I shot the gun normal. That is hilarious. All right, so I don't think I'll be able to do it much faster than I did that last time, but I'm gonna try it as fast as I can now and see what this group looks like. That is so fun. <laughs> and there is the last five shot group that I just did. And this is crazy. This, these groups are tighter than the one that I shot in normal. So uh, definitely not what I expected when I started this video. Well, I gotta say, I'm definitely surprised by the results of this experiment. Uh, when I came out here today, I thought that I was gonna prove this to be kind of dumb and unrealistic. And on my very first time ever trying something like this, I was able to get groups that look like that. So it's definitely possible and um, maybe not Hollywood BS like I originally thought. And as you can tell, I'm super excited about this because I just think it's so cool that I'm shooting that gun that way and not even looking at my sights or nothing, I was able to get um, groups that look like that. That's just freaking awesome. Now I know that this is a different video than you guys are used to seeing from me. It's literally negative eight degrees out here today and I'm kind of limited on stuff that I can do. Uh, right now I'm freezing some stuff and hopefully have 
some pretty fun videos uh, planned for the future, but uh, just trying some different stuff, and this one seemed like a fun one to me. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up for me, guys. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.